Drake allegedly took a shot at Megan Thee Stallion on his new album and Megan is upset. Also, Jay Prince's family is being implicated in the untimely passing of Takeoff. To find out more, stay tuned and watch this video. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Drake and 21 Savage dropped their highly anticipated joint project together called Her Loss. And this album of course has a lot of people talking right now, including this one song called Circle Loco. Now in the song, people were saying that Drake shaded Megan the Stallion. He said, this be lie about getting shots, but she's still a stallion. Shorty say she graduated, ain't learn enough. Player album track one, K, I heard enough. Woo wee, now this does come across a little shady, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people don't believe that Megan Thee Stallion got shot by the rapper Tory Lanez. Also, there were two other witnesses there, one of them being her ex best friend Kelsey, who still have yet to back up her claims. However, this doesn't mean that Megan lied about getting shot by Tory. All this means is we need to uncover more details and more truths because right now we're only going by Megan's word and Tori's word. Megan said Tori shot her. Tori said that he didn't do it. Now, I'm not convinced that Tori is innocent. I'm just not convinced at all, to be honest. But we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens during the trial. But I do find it interesting that Drake referenced this and he basically is saying that Megan lied. Now, some people can also take this line as more of a play on words, saying that she lied about getting shots, meaning butt shots, but he followed it up with, she's still a stallion, so she's still thick. In Texas, a stallion means a tall and thick woman. So it could have been a play on words. It doesn't mean that it was an automatic shot at Megan. However, it does feel like some shade. I'm not gonna lie. It does feel like a dig towards Megan. And even the whole college line saying Shorty said she graduated, but she ain't learn enough. Player album track 1K, I heard enough. So what is he saying there? Is he saying Megan graduated, but she's not smart? Also, he's saying that her music is trash. What is going on? This is crazy. And okay, maybe we could give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he's not talking about Megan. However, the lines are a little too hard to ignore and it does feel a little shady. And it also makes me wonder what happened between Drake and Megan Thee Stallion for him to allegedly throw shade at her. Drake and Megan were cool at one point. I remember when Megan's name was getting some buzz a few years ago and Drake even referenced her in the song No Guidance with Chris Brown. He said, you a little hot girl, you a little sweetie, sweet like Carolyn, which is where Megan grew up, sweet like Peachtree. So Drake went from giving Megan a shout out to throwing shots at her. That's very, very interesting. Also, it's not lost on me that Drake was hanging out with Tori after the whole shooting incident. So maybe there's a reason why he said what he said. Maybe he believes what Tori told him. Even if that's the case, I do think it was in poor taste for Drake to make a line like that, especially knowing how people will interpret it and run with it. And Megan wasn't happy about it at all. She said, I know I'm very popular, but y'all gotta stop attaching weak conspiracies and bars to my name, LOL. Dudes or girls never address me or at me with a fact or receipts. I'm a clout B, keep sucking my pee. Stop using my shooting for clout, bands. Since when the F is it cool to joke about women getting shot? You dudes, especially rap dudes, are lame, ready to boycott about shoes and clothes, but dog pal on a black woman when she say one of y'all homeboys abused her. And when the MF and facts come out, remember all y'all favorite rappers that stood behind a dude that shot a female. People attack me, y'all go up for it. I defend myself now, I'm doing too much. Every time it never ends, and this did not happen until I came out and said I got shot. Y'all don't F with me. Okay, cool, F it, bye. So that's what Megan had to say. I mean, 
Megan is tired, y'all. She's tired of being picked on. She's tired of people having conversations about her in the industry. She's tired of being in the blogs. And I will say in Megan's defense, Megan has been trying to mind her business, but for some reason her name is always a headline. And a lot of times it's not a good headline. It's more negative than good. And I do think it's unfortunate that she's not at least given the respect to prove her case in court. I think people are still dismissing it. And at this point, I don't think it's wise to do that because if it comes out that she was in fact telling the truth all along, a lot of these guys in the industry are gonna have eggs on their faces for listening to Tori. So I do think it was in poor taste for Drake to make that lyric in the first place. Even if it was a play on words, he knows that people will run with that and take it a different way. So I think it was in poor taste personally. Now moving on to the next topic, I want to talk about the rapper Takeoff from the group The Migos. Earlier this week, Takeoff was gunned down at a bowling alley in Houston. Now when I first heard this story, I was really saddened by it. I was more shocked than anything because this truly was unexpected. I mean, it was horrible news to wake up to and it bothered me all week. It really did. I couldn't even make a video about it right away because I was genuinely upset about it. I really was. And I'm not the biggest fan of the Migos, but we can't deny their impact on hip hop. We can't deny that they are one of the biggest rap groups of all time. And Takeoff was also one of the most talented members in the group. Let's be real. He was the best rapper in the group. I mean, even though Quavo and Offset have a lot of charisma and I think Offset is also talented as a rapper as well. We could all agree that Takeoff was easily the best rapper. And not only that, he was humble, he was unproblematic, he was out of the way and he always minded his business, which is why it was really sad that he was the one who had to get shot in the midst of all of this. He didn't deserve it at all. And I was just bothered by it, not only because he passed, but I was bothered by the circumstances around it. I feel like it was completely unnecessary. It was a senseless, senseless death. And Takeoff wasn't the only victim. In fact, Quavo's assistant, Joshua Washington got hit. And also there was another young lady who got hit. So innocent people were affected and thankfully those two survived, but unfortunately Takeoff didn't. It was reported that Takeoff suffered wounds to the head and torso. And the police is still trying to figure out who shot him. Now, just to give a brief backstory of what actually happened leading up to the shooting, Quavo, Takeoff, their assistant Joshua, and Quavo's brother, Migo Bands, were hanging out with Jay Prince's family. Now, if you know who Jay Prince is, he is the big guy in Houston, and he claims that he has mob ties. And when the rappers come to Houston, they check in with the Prince family because the Prince family is supposed to protect them. So Quavo and Takeoff were in Houston and they were hanging out with Jay Prince's brother, Mike Prince, and his two sons, Jay Prince Jr. and Jazz Prince. And they were hanging out at a bowling alley party and Quavo lost a dice game at the party. And there was an argument that happened between Quavo and Mike Prince. And they were kind of arguing about who can beat who at basketball. And Quavo was like, I already played basketball with y'all. And Quavo actually was trying to walk away from the situation. So he tried to remove himself before things went left. Now, allegedly there was a fight that broke out. Some are suspecting that someone threw a punch. Whatever happened, it led to this whole shootout. And they are saying that this guy in the yellow hoodie is the one who shot takeoff allegedly also Quavo's brother and business partner Migo Bands is being suspected of hitting takeoff on accident during the argument you could see him reaching for his gun and I don't know why he did that but I think he may have sensed danger I think he was kind of backing up because he was noticing that somebody pulled their gun out and mind you it was said that some people from the Prince family's camp were strapped. In fact, there was a witness who went on Storm Monroe's show and she revealed that they were the ones with the weapons. So it wasn't a safe environment for Quavo or Takeoff or anybody else who was unarmed. So I think the brother, Migo Bands, realized that they were outnumbered. So he suspected danger and he had his gun ready. Now, I don't believe he fired the first shot. I think the first shot came from someone in the Prince camp 
And I could be wrong, but that's just what I'm assuming. Either way, both parties were shooting and unfortunately Takeoff lost his life in the midst of that. I mean, the whole situation was completely senseless. It's just, I don't know. I don't understand why these guys don't know how to handle their issues like men. They don't know how to talk things out. They don't know how to de-escalate a situation. They don't even know how to throw hands. They can't even fight for real. All they do is hide behind their weapons because that's what makes them feel powerful. But really, they're all very weak and men like that deserve no respect. Now, Jay Prince did release a statement and this was a long statement. I'm not gonna read through it, but there were some words in the statement that raised my antennas. Now, he said this, I consider myself a man that's quick to listen and slow to speak. Therefore, whomever is responsible for putting that bullet in my little nephew's head, let it be known that you can't hide behind me, beside me, or anywhere near me because I don't tolerate dumb stuff. So I think Jay Prince was speaking in cold word here. I think he was saying that it's possible that one of his people might have been the one who fired that shot to take off his head. And he's saying that person can't be associated with him anymore. So he's distancing himself from that person. And he claims that he doesn't know who fired the bullet, but I think he knows. I think the Prince family knows that it's highly likely that one of their people fired that fatal shot. Now I'm not gonna rule out Quavo's brother Migo Bands because he too was shooting recklessly and he too could have shot takeoff on accident. So I'm not ruling him out, but he wasn't the only one firing shots. I think we're just gonna have to wait and see the ballistics and see if the bullet matches his gun to determine that. But it's very possible that it might've been somebody from the Prince family's camp who shot takeoff. And it's really weird when Jay Prince Jr. walked past Takeoff's body. That was very, very weird, very eerie. And a situation that was kind of eerily similar to this was the situation involving Duke the Jeweler. Duke the Jeweler was in Houston and he happened to be playing dice with Jay Prince Jr. as well. And he too was gunned down. And this was after he won $100,000 in a dice game against Jay Prince Jr. So the fact that he too was gunned down after being around these people, is highly suspicious and it makes you wonder, well, what is the Prince family really doing? Because they claim that they're protecting these rappers, but clearly that's not the case. It's all just really, really suspicious and the family can't be trusted at all. But overall, this situation is just super sad. I'm so sad that Takeoff lost his life for no reason at all. It just sucks. And I do wanna say rest in peace to him. And also I wanna send my condolences to his entire family. I also hope this situation can bring Quavo and Offset together again. I know they were at odds. I know that they allegedly were fighting over a girl. That hasn't been confirmed though, but they were fighting over something very frivolous and they probably had a battle of the egos, but all of that doesn't matter. I think at the end of the day, life is short and they need to really appreciate each other while they're still on this earth. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.